Hi air travel lovers, Merry Christmas! I'm sure that by this time when the video is out, Christmas has long passed. But today is the Christmas Eve of 2022 and I will be relishing the air travel experience with Cafe Pacific on the Boeing 777-300ER from Hong Kong to London in first class. Cafe Pacific has only resumed first class recently and therefore I'm very excited to find out how um, the first class experience has changed when compared to the pre-pandemic days. So let's go check it out. Hello Hong Kong, International Airport. Being able to check in at the first class podium counters has always been a privilege I dreamt of having. So I am very excited to be here right now. I had three bags to check in, which is exactly Cafe's first class check-in allowance. My gold status entitled me to another piece, but that was not necessary tonight. Flying in first class, I was invited to use the courtesy channel, another name for fast track, for security check. Cafe Pacific's The Wing First Class Lounge is conveniently located right next to immigration. While the lounge welcomed passengers with business class lounge access back in December because other lounges were still closed, the Haven restaurant that provided the a la carte dining experience only welcomed guests with first class lounge access. As I wasn't that hungry and I wanted to save some quota for the multiple and flight meals that I was sure I would be having, I only ordered a broken meringue from the Christmas menu, which was yummy. Uh, can I please get a glass of the dogs, please? Yeah, thank you. Halfway through the dessert, I saw a friend coming into the lounge, so I had to stop filming. But no worries, you know there will be lots of footage of me eating once I get on the plane. Not long after, a lounge staff in cafe uniform came by with a platter of dessert items. She said it was a pre-congratulation for the diamond status that I would obtain after the flight. It was really an awesome gesture I thought and made me look forward to being her diamond member even more. And now onto the Pier Business Class Lounge, the only other lounge open right now. While this is a business class lounge, a small seating area was reserved for guests with first class lounge access. Regardless, the whole lounge is very comfortable and luxuriously appointed. Let's briefly explore this lounge together, with our first stop being the showers, quite essential before a 14 hour long flight. Clean and refreshed, I headed over to the tea house, which has long been my favorite part of this lounge. It is unique to the pier and it very much resembles a local Hong Kong tea house. The wood furnishing with black accents gives it a very welcoming and relaxing ambience. However, the service seems to be slightly downgraded. I remember they used to provide a sand glass for you to count the 3 minutes of tea bag infusion time, but it is no longer provided. This noodle bar and the long bar are signature pieces in cafe's signature lounges. And in addition for the pier, we have this food hall, which offers a simple but gourmet buffet with an international selection. And now, let me head to the gate to prepare for departure. She invited me back to the pier lounge where the staff had prepared some champagne and nuts. About 10 minutes later, my joyous airside adventure needed to come to an end as it really was time to head to the gate. Michelle insisted on escorting me, which gave us some more time to continue our conversation. It was so awesome meeting Michelle after over 4 years, 
And again, thank you to Cafe Pacific for this heartfelt arrangement. Here we are at gate 35, where I met the Boeing 777-300ER operating CX251 flying me to London this evening. Boarding began 40 minutes before the departure time of 10.20pm. As a first class passenger, I of course made my way to the first class priority queue. From the moment you begin your journey, we're here to make the experience effortlessly smooth and enjoyable. Our crew are pointing out the exits now. Cafe Pacific's current first-class product was introduced back in 2007 on its Boeing 747s. It has seen several upgrades and refinements over the past 15 years. But for example, lacking a door, it is objectively not world-leading. Nonetheless, to me at least, it is one of the world's most comfortable first-class seats with very generous legroom and seat width. Normally, first class between Hong Kong and London is very full, but perhaps it was still early in its service resumption, only two of the six seats, 1A and 2A, were occupied by revenue passengers, with an off-duty pilot taking seat 2K. To mark the return of first class, Cathay introduced celebratory limited edition vintage cellar and fine dining menus. And now, let's finally pamper our taste buds with the Cafe Pacific fine dining in the air experience. This was my first time eating freshly cooked jasmine rice on board. 
Much to my surprise, it wasn't dry at all, and it tasted quite delicious. Indeed, the entire meal service was smooth and the food quite toothsome, and it was made all the more enjoyable with the free flow of Krug 2004, Lynchbarge 2000, and the aforementioned Blanc de Lynchbarge. And because of this free flow, I became tipsy rather quickly, and soon was in the mood for a nap. I told the crew that I would like to skip the search and directly head to bed. When we were on the ground, I received a set of sleep suit from Pi, a Hong Kong brand, so I am going to go change into that and brush my teeth as well while I'm up. A service introduced in 2019, first class customers can select their choice of pillow from the pillow menu, which offers three pillows of different firmness. I have found the pillows in economy class and business class to be too soft. So this time, I went with the firmest pillow available. And as I got into bed, I remember thinking to myself, this pillow in this bed will for sure let me dream sweet dreams. After having a solid 4 hours of sleep, I was awake and it was time to pick out some gourmet items from the all-day menu. Now, let's have Percy Allen demonstrate to us how this first-class menu item is prepared in the galley. Veggies and prawns are handled separately. Veggies are plated while the prawns are being heated. Once the prawns are ready, it's time for some skillful plating work. And ta-da! Here are the crispy prawns, which although they looked superb, were disappointingly though perhaps not surprisingly, not crispy at all. I decided to return to bed after the quick snack as we were still five and a half hours away from London. And after another three and a half hours, I awoke to breakfast. In first class, passengers may order freshly cooked eggs of any kind. And here we have Senior Persa Humphrey preparing two sunny side ups for me. The lights on the ground meant we were fast approaching London Heathrow Airport. I was certainly unwilling to wave goodbye but I suppose it's time to summarize the flight. This was the smoothest flight I have ever been on. I literally did not feel that I was on a long haul flight at all. Time passed so quickly. Alternating between eating and sleeping, the 14 hour flight time simply flew by. I really wished I was here a bit longer. Okay, a lot longer. Although this seat product is dated and still without an enclosed design, it undeniably has one of the most comfortable beds in the air, and will always keep your dreams sweet. The food and drink offerings on this flight were certainly first class, and everything was finally presented with new dining ware. Cafe's effort in upgrading the cellar offerings on the flight also deserves praise. The Lynch Barge is now my all-time favorite red wine. The service on board was also simply awesome. I would like to thank Humphrey and Alan, two professional gentlemen on board who really took great care of me throughout the entire flight, and I am sure I had kept them very busy with my many requests. The two crew members were also very knowledgeable, and I enjoyed my small talks with them as well as with the captain and the in-flight service manager, Bridget. I am already missing Cafe Pacific's first class as I edit this video two months after the flight. While Singapore Airlines' suites 
are exciting. Cafe Pacific's first class is home. Hopefully, hand in hand with the return of its first class service, Cafe Pacific will once again soar in the industry, and I cannot wait to be back. Welcome to London. If London is home, a very warm welcome home. Thank you for flying Cafe Pacific, a member of the One World Alliance. And once again, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for relishing the air travel experience with me today. May I invite you to join me in savouring our next journey. <laughs>